in a place called Connecticut. I am with the doctor of rock and roll. You got it, man. Okay, I want everyone to stay safe. It's holiday weekend and for the rest of the summer because this virus is a kicker and it's really bad. So I want everyone to stay safe and just remember that one song by Otis Reddy and Aretha Franklin made it a big hit. Respect. And I want everyone to give everyone respect by staying six feet away from one another and put on your mask wherever you go in a public place. That's and right. Stay safe, America. And social distancing, right? You know it. It's very important because this is not over yet by any means. And we do have to still take it seriously. So, Drew, it's great to see you, the doctor of rock and roll. What is your favorite coronavirus song? Oh, God, I don't really have a favorite song. I guess my favorite corona song is there's a, there's a parody of the 1979 song by the Knack, and it was called My Sharona, so of course, of course we you know what <laughs> that song is all about. Oh, you know yes. What this new song is My Corona, and I'm not talking about the yeah. bear, man. I'm talking There's about so that. many songs like that, and but um, yeah, I started a site, Songs of Coronavirus, and so. I will invite you to that site and people put their songs in and their ideas and it's off of Facebook. It's a site that I came up with. But uh Drew. Yeah. Uh I wanted to ask you uh about the Gumby and Pokey that I see over there. Can you put that in your hands for us and Oh yeah, okay. And you tell remember. me about your liking of Gumby and Pokey. Well, you know, I always do like Gumby and Pokey. When I was growing up, I always watched Gumby and Pokey on TV. Yeah. The black heads. I really loved it. And I you, really loved you want to hear Pokey. something funny, Drew? When I used to watch Gumby and Pokey, yeah. I always wanted to stretch them. Uh, yeah, well, they you, looked so stretchable. Yeah, well, you know, you <laughs> And as a kid, I wanted to get one and stretch it. Yeah, no, you can stretch them. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not like Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> you remember Stretch Armstrong? Yes. That's cute. Yeah. So, Drew, when I did come in today, um, I, you had mentioned another song to me. Let's go back to songs. You had mentioned a song by Jimmy Buffett. Tell everyone about this. On the flip side... On the flip side, it's his new song and a new album? Yeah, it's coming wow. out. Wow. Yeah, it's coming out May 29th. How old is year. Jimmy Buffett? Jimmy Buffett is 73. And he's he still was moving. born on December 25th, 1946. Cool. You know a lot about these things. Oh, I love rock and roll. I love Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, yeah. So, Drew... What else would you like to share with Bramford today? Well, you know, not too much. I just want all of my friends to just to use your caution, stay safe, and we'll get through this all together. Mm-hmm. You now, know, and I just... Do you know, have, did you have any friends or anyone that had the virus? No. Okay. Well, I did have one friend that had the virus, and they claim that he died of the virus, which isn't true, because oh. the, guy, the, guy had, the guy had diabetes, the uh, guy weighed about 380, so I highly doubt, you know, the virus had a lot to do with it, because he was in a old folks' Yeah, a combination, home. yeah, it's but, a combination. You know, it's really, really a shame. So, you know, like I said, I just want to 
want all my friends and everyone to stay safe and keep cool. Keep and, and, and rocking and rolling. I know this isn't a good subject for you, but I must bring it up because we've talked about it in the past. Whatever happened with Walmart? I got fired because they claimed that they were getting rid of greeters, which is a bunch of crap. They never got rid of greeters. And I asked them, I said, well, can I please go back to Derry, where I was originally at? And they said, definitely not. And I said, why? And they said, oh, well, you can climb. Well, you could climb the ladder, yeah. Yeah, no, that's a lot of Anyway, it, with all of this going on, Louise, uh, you, oh, did, yeah, you well, wasn't in the picture at the time, but Louise, he was the best greeter of Walmart. They, he was an asset to Walmart, and people looked forward to going to Walmart just to even see Drew on the way out. And I hope someone from Walmart hears that. He's a good guy. Whatever happened there, you know, you got to give someone a second chance. I don't know what went on there totally, but I just know that Drew is a good person and he wanted that job back so bad and they really hurt him. And I don't like that. And so all I do know about Walmart is it took them a while to take caution to this virus. They weren't doing what they needed to do for their employees because I knew an employee that was there. But I guess they got their uh, stuff together now, uh, hopefully. And uh, it's one of the only stores that was open through the virus to go in. So that's about it with Walmart, but they lost you, okay? That's what I want to say to you. So, anything else for my audience today in Brantford and your friends out there that you have so many? And you're still keeping in shape, I see. Oh, yeah, look, I'm keeping in shape. Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Got the beer belly going and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, do that thing that you do because we have to say goodbye. That thing. Rock out! <laughs> Rock out! Rock and roll! You know, I think when I hear Gray Seal by Elton John, I think of you. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been a pleasure seeing you today on Memorial Day, and I'm so glad you treasure the the uh, the soldiers and honor the soldiers as we all do. But you really have that wonderful little flag and the tunes. You're yeah. always you always had the tunes. Yeah, I really have respect. For a lot of people, and, and you know, may may everyone, like I said, hope everyone stays safe, and hopefully we'll get through this by July. It's got to get better. Yeah, we're all praying that there's a solution, and I'm hoping it's not a vaccine. I'm hoping it's something else. Get with the program in a place called Connecticut. You're with Deborah K. Levi. And have a great day.